Alright, guys, I may have just hurt your ears, but for good reason, guys, we're back at it again with another Borderlands 3 video. Fellas, today we're going to be slapping up the Malawan takedown on true. It's always on true, guys. Whenever we do these, it's always on true takedown uh, with our Bloodstarved Beast. So, uh, I guess I'll real quick, I'll show off the setup real quick, guys. Obviously, uh, here is our Bloodstarved Beast consec hits. I did put a nice little uh, weapon skin on it, uh, that being... Uh, yeah, that one. I, I don't want to try and pronounce that because I'll totally butcher and I'll get roasted by it. <laughs> roasted it in the comments. Uh, so yeah, Fire Old God, Minesweeper, uh, Pearl, Level 1 CMT, Standard Demolition Woman Tree, 3 out of 5 into uh, Giant and Brass here. Uh, definitely want to get some Forge in this bitch and then some Sexy Surplus. Uh, we're going to be uh, carving up these enemies today. And uh, obviously we do have our hammer downs for those pesky uh, Flamethrower Heavyweights that always like to uh, show their faces whenever I'm running like a pure fire build. But that's okay. Guys, I'm pretty sure uh, most of y'all know uh, about like what's going on with Borderlands 3 and stuff like that. Especially if y'all uh, caught the video from earlier today, uh, you'll definitely know. But uh, for those of y'all that didn't, I'll just go ahead and, and uh, lay off, lay, lay some basicness uh, that's going down. So obviously, you guys, uh, we had another Borderlands show this morning, and uh, it was like all, all about uh, the Director's Cut DLC. Uh, please get off of me, fucking pesk. Literally, it's, it was all about the Director's Cut DLC, dude, and what's going to be in it. And it, there's there's quite the amount of stuff to look into. So, obviously, pretty sure uh, what everyone's most excited about is, obviously, we're finally going to be getting a standalone raid boss. Uh, that has been lacking from the game uh, since this puppy has launched. Uh, I feel like that's, like, a big reason why a lot of people love Borderlands 2 so much uh, as they do. I don't know how a Minesweeper grenade even fell right there because we didn't even shoot any enemies, but whatever. Uh, is because, like, you know, Borderlands 3, you know, we're, you know, about, you know, a year and a half in almost. And we're just now getting our first, like, standalone raid boss. Now, don't get me wrong, dude. I think that the takedown, uh, the takedowns are, <sighs> of course, there's always, there's always one of those flamethrower heavyweights, bro. There's always at least one of them. Uh... I personally think the take down. Oh, there's two of them now. Wow, Jesus, dude. Yeah, let me get my Iron Bear as soon as I can. Uh, and there's only two takedowns. And let's just be real, bro. The Guardian takedowns kind of butt cheeks, right? Uh, I know for damn well I don't like running that bitch ever. And I know a lot of people in the community don't like running it either because it's kind of annoying. It can be. It's very tedious for sure. But uh, it's gonna be the Varkid raid boss, bro. It's gonna be. You know, y'all know that door in the Ascension Bluff that has been locked since uh, this game has come out. It's gonna be that door now. The gameplay that they, like, okay, so y'all remember back when this game was first coming out, and they were showing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, gameplay trailers and stuff like that, and y'all know how they initially gave some footage of that raid boss? Uh, it's not any, anything like that. Uh, it's gonna look a lot different, and there's gonna be, like, some mechanics and stuff like that, and it's gonna be pretty, pretty fun, dude, but, it, dude, here's the catch, right? Dude, it's gonna cost 500 Iridium, bro. Fucking 500 Uridium just to fight the damn thing. So, uh, if y'all don't have y'all's Uridium up, uh, y'all definitely want to make sure y'all want to hop on that, do some Uridium farming so that y'all can be prepared uh, to, you know, go fart that raid boss. Uh, that thing better have some good loot. I would assume it would, bro. If you, I mean, a, a boss that's going to cost 500 Uridium just to fight, I would hope that motherfucker's going to have some gosh darn good loot, dude. That's going to be kind of important, you know? Like, yo, imagine if it's like, if it gets, if that boss gets the Scourge treatment, where it's one of the most, it's like one of the h harder bosses in the game, but the loot from it sucks. <laughs> Could you imagine that, bro? The community would have an outrage. First, first standalone raid boss in BL3 and the loot from it sucks, dick. <laughs> Could you, <laughs> that would be so just disappointing. I highly doubt that's going to happen, though. I, I got my, my, high, uh, my hopes high. Uh, for this raid boss, dude. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Stand alone, too, bro. We don't have to go through, like, a takedown to get it to it, the end of it. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. I look like, I like the Wokton fight, although sometimes I do get a little annoyed with his, uh, one-hitter quitter grenades. But the point being is that it's, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be a nice breath of fresh air for everybody. And I know damn well it's gonna be a fucking hella hype, dude. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna get, obviously, dude, we're gonna get, like, new, new loot. New builds, bro. Who doesn't love making new builds? I know I can't new make, can't wait to make new builds. Even though I haven't made a build video in like a month. <laughs> also, dude, uh, the DLC is going to drop on the 18th of March, and uh, then literally two weeks later, we're gonna have Outriders drop. Uh, obviously, uh, a, a lot of people, especially a lot of people from the BL3 community, uh, are gonna are going to be hopping on that, which is gonna be fucking awesome. So, like March 8th, like. 
from mid-March on, dude, it's going to be a, a big-time grind season, dude. Because, like, as soon as the new DLC starts starts to get stale, but then we got the full release of Outriders, which I know a lot of people can't fucking wait, including myself, dude. I, I know a lot of you guys have uh, been hearing me talk about it recently. Like, a lot on the channel. So, uh, yeah, dude, that's going to be fucking awesome, and I can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be hype as fuck, dude. Let me hop back in Iron Man wreck this dude. Also, guys, we have the return of the Broken Hearts Day event. Uh, that drops literally tomorrow. Uh, so I will be streaming uh, us, uh, like, doing some of the uh, Broken Hearts Day event stuff, you know, maxing out the hearts on uh, our characters so that we can get a level 65 wedding invitation. I know for a lot of people, uh, they got the game after the original Broken Hearts Day event came around and never actually were able to get their hands on it. And for those of us that did, a lot of us have a level 57 one that's stuck at level 57 so it'll be nice to see how consistent level 65 one can be probably we'll do a showcase as soon as a broken heart day event drops on a level 65 wedding invitation uh so be prepared for that that'll be pretty pretty dope uh and yeah dude uh honestly uh there's oh dude what other things are coming with the B new bl3 uh like release stuff so they're gonna be uh introducing like these things called vault cards that are gonna be like cycling out uh just as a it's like it's kind of like a battle pass obviously you don't have to pay for them but what you do get is um, you get a lot of cool cosmetics and they change consistently. So, like, you're not having, you know, just the same one. They're going to change consistently. So, we, you know, we're, you know, some breath of fresh air, some new uh, cosmetics and stuff like that, which, you know, so, you know, that's pretty dope. And, you know what I'm saying? That's fucking awesome. Let's hop back into Iron Bear. Let's fucking wreck this dude's fucking face off, bro. Oh, he just, he just instantly died. That bet that, that up. Also, we are going to be getting new daily and weekly challenges, which will be pretty dope. Uh, I'm just going to hop off the map, bro. Just open up this door. Fuck it. Who cares? Uh, what I'm hoping that they do with uh, those daily and weekly challenges is that I really hope that they use the, uh, that they use the rewards for those challenges at, uh, uh, for like guns uh, that you get uh, via mission rewards. You know, things like the Scoville. Things like the Lavar Lope, things like the Becca, that you like, you know, once you complete the missions, especially if you got this game, you know, when it first came out, and you did those missions when, you know, Mayhem 3 was the max and level 50 was the highest level. If, you know, unless you started a whole new character just for a shot at getting that gun with a decent anointment, you know, you, you're, you're just kind of stuck with it. I'm, what I'm hoping is that they allow us uh, with these uh, rewards that we can get a consistent uh, way to farm those, uh, those weapons. Now, I could be totally wrong. Maybe they, hey, maybe they use them for entirely new weapons altogether. I'd be down for that, too, if they don't want to do, uh, for uh, previous mission rewards, uh, new weapons. That's obviously fucking dope as hell, and who's not going to like that? Uh, but that's also going to be another thing, which is going to be pretty cool. And, uh, I mean, yeah, dude, they also showed these pretty dope cosmetics, like these COV-themed uh, cosmetics, bro. They look awesome especially the mose one i'm just saying bro the mose one looks fucking awesome as shit and i can't wait now i'm not saying shit is awesome but i'm just saying the skins look hella dope hella hella dope bro and uh, yeah dude we're like okay so right now if i like off the top of my head right the like the best iridium farms are probably the ones in the ferocious canopy on eden six and then uh, the one in carnivora uh, I would assume are probably the two best ones off the top of my head. Uh, because we're going to need lots. Th like, this braid boss is literally just is going to be designed for us to have, like, you know, actual use for our iridium, bro. Like, it's going to, like, we're actually going to have uh, a use for our shit tons of iridium. Now, if you are a newer player and you just, you aren't, like, stockpiled on, like, sh a shit ton of iridium, this might be a bit of a, a annoyance for you because, you know, getting 500 iridium just for one boss fight, that can be kind of, uh, kind of time consuming for sure to say the least dude yeah that could definitely be time consuming oh uh, but we'll see dude maybe they'll add like a new iridium farm with the dlc cut oh also dude like the dlc like it's basically revolved around like murder mysteries with ava so yeah we're gonna team up with our favorite character from this game and we're gonna solve murder mysteries around pandora now i know that may sound kind of weird because like yo it's borderlands we literally murder you know enemies all day every day in this bitch you know what I'm saying? Like we look like we slay Wotan at least once a day on the channel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> uh, I wonder who I wonder who killed that guy. But uh, dude, we'll see, bro. We'll see what the DLC has to offer. We're gonna be exploring new areas of the uh, of some of the maps and stuff like that. Fucking damn minesweepers, come on, quit downing me like that, bro. Let me just get rid of you, uh, tell me. 
Uh, so, dude, we'll see, bro. It's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, definitely we'll be streaming uh, all that stuff day one uh, whenever the director's cut drops and stuff like that. I can't wait to see, uh, like, the one-shots and stuff. Now, obviously, I would have... If, if, the, if this raid boss does not have... Uh, God, can I stop being cryo, dude? Like, good gracious. It's just annoying. I would assume that this bo raid boss is going to have somewhat of immunity phases. Because if it doesn't, bro, uh, I guarantee there's going to be day one one-shots. Especially from people like, you know, Moxie and Lazy Data. People one shot in that fucker literally day one. But uh, we'll see, bro. I, I, I just hope that the market has some dope-ass fucking loot for us, man. For sure. You know, it's also pretty funny because I'm pretty sure they did not plan on actually bringing this raid boss actually into the game because in DLC 2, whenever uh, like you first meet Ista, uh, he talks to a, a Hammerlock saying like, you know, you slayed the, you know, the dreaded uh, Varkid Witch Queen, which I'm pretty sure they're referring to that raid boss, uh, uh, you know, Hermivorce. The Hermivorce is its name. Pretty sure that's who they were initially referring to. And then they just decided like, yo. Fuck it, we got some free time. Directors cut this bitch up and let's bring uh, let's bring some shit back. Uh, but yeah, dude, that's awesome. New raid boss, fuck yeah, that's a win. Ugh, fucking flamethrower heavyweights, just so goddamn annoying. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are excited about that. Let's go hop in Iron Bear, bro. Just get rid of this dude because he likes to be annoying. Are you dead? Are you dead? No, you still got some some health. Kaboom, kaboom. How did you eat those? Eat these, bitch. Eat those. Yum, 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 yum. Let's see. That should be three. Is there no more? No more? Shit. Okay. But yeah, dude. Like, it's... It's it's going to be a pretty high time, bro. March. Like, from late March to... Er, to through April. It's going to be a hype, hype-ass day, dude. It's going to be a fucking hype. Not hype-ass day. It's going to be a hype-ass time, bro. Because... Dude, I'm letting y'all know, right? Well, first off, dude, Outriders demo drops in 15 days, two weeks from tomorrow. Be streaming that bitch, too. Uh, that'll be fucking awesome, bro. It's a good time to be alive, baby. We got some new shit coming from some, for some of our games, bro. I can't wait. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit-tastic, bro. It's going to be lit litty titty bro. Litty fucking titty Let's be brute force our way through Wotan's armor. Sorry, bro. Bloodstar Beast is one of those weapons that's just, like, built like that. You know what I'm saying? Let me uh, back away a little bit. I don't want to fucking get killed by my own mind super grenades. Because let's be real, that does happen consistently. Frostbite heavyweight gets us down. You're wrecked. Get wrecked. You're bad. Relo uh, I don't need to reload. Fuck it, dude. I need my toads. I'm going to drop Iron Bear right here. That way, he's going to turn around. He's going to take off Wotan's shield whenever he goes to that phase. Do that thing. Do that thing, Iron Bear. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do the thing. Do the thing, Iron Bear. Do the thing. Do the thing. Just just drop Just drop it. Wait, where's Iron Bear at? Where'd he go? Oh, shit. He died. Dad, gummy. I'm cryoed again. Remove it. I. Uh, uh, hey, cryo damage. Here we, here we go again. Quit fucking running, you pussy! Except you're dead like a real man, motherfucker. Airboard, call me Jordan, bitch. It's a hype time, bro. Dude, DLC 6 is going to be fucking amazing. Dude, what? Dude, DLC 6, honestly, I believe DLC 6 probably has potential to be the best uh, DLC in the game just, just because of this raid boss. Now, obviously, we haven't, you know, played it yet, so we don't know, like, the mechanics or anything. But I, can you just despawn? Like, you're, you're, your boy's dead. You're, you're, you're done. You're, you're done, Wardog. You're done. Wotan's brain, sit down. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that's just gonna wrap up the video. I uh, hope y'all did enjoy the video, guys. We did do a nice little double upload today. Uh, if y'all are new to the channel, I'm saying make sure to drop your love in that like button, subscribe if you're new. We do post daily content. We don't miss a day, guys. Uh, so yeah, make sure y'all 
Y'all get pretty hyped for the new DLC and stuff like that. And if you are going to be getting Outriders, that's going to drop literally two weeks after the DLC. So a lot of shit's going to be moving. Uh, here's our Demolition Woman Tree standard. Uh, three out of five Shield Retribution. Beautiful, beautiful Bombless Max Tree and our Sexy Surplus. Uh, here is the Sarge Beast that we use. You know what I'm saying? Because that gets times two. I like times two more than times three just because we don't have to uh, worry about uh, like reloading as much. And then Old God... Minesweeper with 5 out of 5, and then Beautiful Pearl and Level and CMT. Anyways, guys, uh, thank y'all so much for watching. My name's Cree. Y'all get fucking hyped. It's gonna get real, real quick. And, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody!